High traders S&P 500 lost 0.2% last week in a very low volatility week. The uncertainty level is growing. The new president has to deal with some big challenges like Russia, China and Mexico. And the result is already reflected in the 10 year bond yield, which is climbing. It right, right now it reached 2.47%, which is very bad news for the stock market. If you add to the fact that the market has moved much high recently due to the Santa Trump rally, all indicators point for an upcoming market pullback. Some 80 S&P companies are to report this week. Therefore, even if the market volatility will remain low, we still have plenty of movers to pick from. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500, we are still holding to the highs. However, again, take another look at the 2200s area. We will pull back there. Now, I don't know if it's going to be this week or in the next weeks, but it is very likely that we're going to retest this area again. Let's take a look at last week's picks. We had a peak in FL two weeks ago, which just uh, reached its target a little bit more than 3%. That was our short in FL. Uh, just a reminder, our quarter size left is now has a stop at the entry level. My first pick last week was Clark, which did trigger but didn't move much. I'm still waiting for a move. My second pick last week was DLPH, which did trigger. It has moved down, which is of course not good. Stop loss at 3%. It is not at my stop loss yet. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Adobe Long over 111.09. Very nice uptrend and you should take a look at the weekly of Adobe too. Adobe is a very big software company in the States and the, the formation over the last few years is just perfect for some more upside continuation. My second pick for the week is short in WMB. I did like WMB for long a few weeks ago, you may remember that, but right now it looks great for a short under 27.99. It's an energy infrastructure company in the States. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.